So a feature that is relatively new to Maya is the idea of the offset parent matrix. What the offset parent matrix does is it moves an object as if it's parented to another object without actually being parented to another object. This has a very similar effect to having a parent constraint with the added benefit that you can still animate the object relative to that parent. What do I mean? So if we take two objects, let's just create a couple of locators here. If I parent constraint one to the other, we'll maintain the offset. So now that second locator is moving as if it's parented to the first locator. However, I can't animate this without breaking that relationship. If I set a key, it turns on a blend parent that disables the constraint. I can blend that back on, but I can't have both at the same time. So I do that. If, however, I connect it through the parent offset matrix, go over here, take the, the world matrix. I'll say, I don't know what to plug that into. Go other, it'll bring up the input selection and scroll down to offset parent matrix. First thing you'll notice is that it seems to have disappeared. What happens is its transforms are now local to the original parent. So we'll move that back up in place and then you see that you know it is still acting as if it's a parent child relationship even though it's clearly not. But I can still animate this locally. So this becomes the best of both worlds. And it's way cheaper and lighter than setting up a parent constraint. It's a simple connection, one attribute to another, as opposed to a parent constraint, which has all kinds of weird crisscrossing uh, wires to it and everything like that. So we had this new mascot character for my day job at White Moon Dreams. This is Houston. It says Neil. His name was originally going to be Neil, named after Neil Armstrong, but we decided to name him Houston because at White Moon Dreams, we do a lot of work helping other companies get their product to market. So a lot of people call us up, Houston, we have a problem, and we fix it. So he got renamed and rechristened Houston. So in setting up this rig, I wanted to experiment with that parent offset matrix in rigging. And at first I thought it worked rather well, and then we had an issue and then we fixed it. And that's what I want to discuss here in this tutorial. So let's take a look at one control. So you'll see here that the control is parented to what I call a zero node. Now a zero node is simply a group node that um, has all the world space translations and rotations stored in it. So the control relative to that zero node is zero. It's just an easy way to zero out the transformations without having to freeze transforms or anything like that. And it makes it very convenient for editing. I have two buttons here that lock and unlock zero nodes. If I wanted to repurpose this rig to different proportions, I can unlock all the zero nodes, move the zero nodes to their new positions, lock them back up again, and everything is right as rain. Now, as we saw with the locators, the offset parent matrix sometimes eliminates the need for these zero nodes. And here's a good example right here where I have an aux root control. What this is, is it's simply a second root control in case you hit gimbal, All right, The FK root is actually 
constrained to that. So when you're moving this, you're actually moving that control, which is actually moving the joint. Uh, normally I would have had that as a zero node and parented to that, but in experimenting with the offset parent matrix, I just connected the two through the offset parent matrix. Like so, just one connection. And then like we saw with the locators, that made this aux control relative to the root control zeroed out. Works the same way as these zero nodes, except instead of physically parenting to it, it's done through the connection. Other than that, it's pretty much the same idea. So as you can see, if I move the root control here, the rig seems to work. And I'm like, oh, this is so great. Everything's hunky-dory. The rig worked as intended by using that parent offset matrix instead of parent constraints. The rig's super light. Everything's easy to set up. Created a little script to help me automate the process and everything was great until I grabbed the main null. And we got this. So it took me a little while to figure out what was happening. But the first thing I saw was what looked like double transformations. And in fact, that's what was what we were getting. And it took me a little while to figure out the solution to this. So does that mean the parent offset matrix uh, idea doesn't work? No, it totally worked. It just means it takes a little bit extra work. So what's happening is we're moving the top node, which is also moving the control node, which has that parent offset matrix. So this is moving this, which is moving this, double transformation. So we need to remove that double transformation from our equation. So as you can see on this version, it is fixed. So let's go back to the one control we were looking at. And again, I'm just picking this control as an example almost all the controls are set up this way. There's still a few places where I use parent constraints because I have to do space switching um, and things of that nature. And you can do that with some matrix math. In some cases, it was a little bit more complicated than I want to spend the time solving. In other cases, it wasn't that bad. So there's still a few places where I'm doing constraints. It's not all parent offset matrix, but I would say I've replaced about 80% or more of my parent constraints with this method. Uh, so yeah, this control is nothing special. It's just I'm using this as a example. So let's go back to that zero node. And we had to take out that double transformation. So originally, this world matrix was plugged directly into the offset parent matrix of the control. The fix was we multiplied that matrix by the world inverse matrix of another node in the graph that's being moved. So in this case, I used the control group. I got into the habit of basically using these group nodes because uh, it, it was the just the next closest parent. Uh, using the control group seems to work just fine though. So the important thing is that you have a group node that that stuff is parented to that you can uh, remove the double transformation from. And it becomes a simple connection. We get this multiply matrix. Here's the original control that was serving as a parent. And that goes into the first index. So the world inverse matrix goes into the second input. And then we take that sum and plug it into the parent offset matrix. So this is the trick to using parent offset matrix in your control rigs without getting that double transformation. And you can use this pretty much anywhere you want to use parent offset matrix. Um, but you still have that problem of grouping things and moving the group node and getting a double transformation. This solves that problem. 
just a little quick tutorial. I just wanted to go through my exploration process, show off what I found out in case this helps anybody else. I'm just basically paying it forward. I figured this out by watching a bunch of other people's tutorials. A piece of the puzzle was from this tutorial. Another piece of the puzzle was from that tutorial. And I put it together. So they helped me. Now I'm helping you. And if you solve any particular interesting rigging problem like this, please pass it forward. Do a YouTube video. Post it up there and help the next guy and pass it forward. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.